I really don't want to spend my whole life contemplating what a really good life would be like. And I just had this weird realization is the closest word to what happened, where I was just thinking about how many hours I've spent journaling and contemplating, meditating, considering, talking to other people about their ideas about how to live a really good life. And I just had this sense in that moment, like, that's what I'm spending the majority of my life doing. I'm spending, maybe I'm spending more time imagining possibilities than I am creating them. And on the one hand, that's terrifying because it's like, I just had this like super, really, really full on moment where I saw myself, like I just, you know, those moments where you're like contemplating and you like fast forward through your whole life. And I saw myself as this old man who actually hadn't done anything. Like, which is absurd because I live life to the fullest 100%. I've done things that, like, I've fit lifetimes worth of experiences into my 20s. And some of my best friends, that's what they say they envy about me when we're talking about, like, their strengths and things and, like, we're sharing stories. Like, I'm the one that lives life as if I'm living 20 lives at once. But that could also be part of this issue. It just could be my way of like framing it so it's not a problem. But I had this, it was really weird, like just getting to the end of my life and looking back over it. And it's like all these short stories, all of these like disconnected short stories, not necessarily one consistent narrative that I could look back over and see my progression. It just, in this moment, I was just made of all of these little short stories that were insignificant as a, as a whole. And I'm not sure if that's what I want for my life. But I can feel so many things attached to this, this thing, like this moment. And one of them is I don't want to choose a path. I don't want to have, I don't want to anchor myself in one place. I don't want to limit my possibilities by putting all of my eggs in one basket or it's like I want the freedom so bad that I've completely ignored the sacrifice. Uh, so living this lifestyle where I've been just maxing out the possibilities of human experience like some of the things that I've achieved accomplished I don't even care about achievements and accomplished just some of the things that I've witnessed I really see myself as a witness to these things I don't see myself as somebody who's doing it it's more like yeah Kai is doing it but like it's like this theatrical performance that's incredible like it's almost like I can't take credit for it sometimes like you want to get spiritual about it you know and the car's just pulled up observing me in yet another place that I thought nobody would ever stop here. But I'm deep in this, this moment thing, and I'm really connected to it right now, so I'm going to focus. It's new. It's new because I haven't allowed myself to see this thing, and something that I've done has uncovered it, and all of a sudden I'm it's really hard to articulate in the present moment because it's so dense. Like this moment's connected to so many new things. And it's like, what do I express first? How do I communicate all of this? How do I even, how do I even feel all of this? It's so big. So like I'm suddenly having all of these counter narratives or alternative narratives is a better way to put it. Like where I live, what I used to call a mediocre life or like an average life. And really what I was calling mediocre and average was just actually choosing a fucking path. And um, I've been kind of robbing myself of being happy and 
you know, this is so huge because this has been like what's hurt me so much and hurt people that I love so much because I've been so desperate to be free and to be able to like keep every single possibility open and not not compromise my my options. I just wanted options, but you can't like the famous saying, you can't ride two horses at once, but then there's another saying that says if you can't ride two horses at once, you better get out of the circus. So like which is it? And does it doesn't have to be either or. I posted an either or question on my Instagram this morning and my mate Tom, your mate Tom, uh, sent me a message, I don't choose either, and he's just being the contrarian that he is, he's always trying to stir trouble, like, not stir trouble, but just, like, he. Or you'll hear the words come out of his mouth constantly, I'm just playing devil's advocate, but, you know, he loves that, but it's, like, it gave me a little extra boost in this thing that I'm thinking, because I'm, like, I'm choosing between this or that, but, like, really, the possibilities are infinite, and I could do anything, but I'm doing nothing. I'm not doing nothing, but it's like, I'm not doing anything wholeheartedly. I'm not, uh, it's almost like, far out. I'm going to use this analogy again in another weird way. Like doing all of the, um, you know, side missions in a video game and not doing this, the main storyline because like a, it's like you have to uh, it, to do the main storyline. I'd have to choose which character I want to be, but I can just play around in reality and do all these random mini games and things and explore all this really fun stuff without committing to choosing a storyline. And a big part of me, there's like this internal battle going on inside of me, and I'm like choosing. Or I'm trying to let it all come out, like take turns. Um. So I don't know, like, what inside of me is speaking right now, but that's part of the interesting thing about these journals. Whoa. Okay. I don't want to choose a path. Because I want all the paths to be open. I guess... I, I've like so 20 fucking things have just zoomed through my awareness without being expressed, so I need to really focus here. One thing about not choosing a path and keeping all of your options on the table is, in a way, you can delude yourself into believing that all of those options are actually yours, like because you haven't tried and failed or tried and succeeded the options in the future are still, they still belong to you in a way. But as soon as you try and fail or try and succeed, then it makes it real. So that's one aspect of this huge moment that's happening. Um, another thing is, I don't think I can possibly speak to all of it like I can't possibly express it all fast enough I need to focus on the underlying insight here the 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 core to this epiphany otherwise we're just going to end up with a rambling mess it's so fascinating to me though this hasn't happened to me for a long time like something of this magnitude that's just made me like stop in my tracks pull over the car and just be like okay what does this mean? What am I... What is being uncovered right now? What is being unearthed? It's huge. What am I going to choose? What am I going to do with this? Like, what... Am I going to change? Is it? Is this the moment where I realize, like, I'm going to just move in one particular direction for the rest of my life? I doubt it. That just doesn't feel like me. But what if that is me and all of this other stuff was not me it was like a way to escape myself to just constantly dabble in all of the possibilities and never really commit to anything even though like I can 100% see myself in the past committing to things and wholeheartedly giving myself to them 
I was avoiding the things that mattered the most to me, to be honest with myself. There was stuff that mattered more and I avoided it because of these like little excuses like I've, that I've articulated all the stuff that I said. Like it probably sounds like excuses when I watch it back. I'm starting to get a sense where like as I'm recording the journal, I've kind of got like space in my awareness to observe myself while I'm trying to articulate it as well. And I can, I can kind of imagine what I'm going to feel when I watch it back now. But what, how sad would it be if you spent your whole life thinking about all of the things that you could do, all the ways that you could live, all of the relationships that you could have, the careers that you could pursue, the children that you could have, the events that you could attend and you just spent like the majority of your time in that contemplation and not in action. I would really like to take more action. I would really like to participate more and talk about it less, but I don't want to talk. I don't want to stop the journaling process because this is like one of the best things that's helping me unearth this stuff, but I need to, I need to sit with this. This is going to be something where the insights come after the journal, but I just love sharing something when it's so raw because that's where I feel like it can actually give people that spark of realization inside themselves. And when I know, when I, when it's less raw and it's more refined and I've had time to really think about it and consider it and I know what I want to tell you, then it's almost like too suggestive like I'm, I'm giving you the answers like my answers and it doesn't give you as much room to think about your own reality and your own like thoughts really and you know I don't know the intention behind watching these maybe it's just inf in information entertainment for some of the people that watch it but like I think I, I can see in the responses through different mediums like the messages that I receive and the comments and things that are coming now that people aren't just watching these passively people are watching these actively and considering their own lives as I'm considering mine and that gives me goosebumps like that is starting to feel really cool and it's like I'm finally really starting to feel like what I intended to do with this process is actually beginning to happen and significant shifts are happening inside of people because they're able to see themselves while I'm seeing myself creating this space to look at what I really am and it's just ha having this incredible impact and um, that's it that's the path that's like the main path and the paradox is that I'm talking about I don't want to just sit here and contemplate my whole life and I was scared of that image of the old man who had just been talking about all of the possibilities but it's kind of my path so the paradox is here like I'm going to be like a philosopher I guess like a modern day philosopher more or less like that's one way that I could see it in the moment and like spend my whole life maybe all of these short stories instead of having one cohesive long narrative where I I walk a particular path is the way for me to relate to so many unique and original individuals like Maybe that's what my path is, but like, so I've got, I'm going full circle and I'm like thinking like, oh, what if I spend my whole life not choosing a path? But what if my path is that? Like that is the hero's journey for me, like trying on so many different possibilities and making so many dramatic changes and shifts and being fearless and just like so bold with my existence and not being afraid of being becoming that old man, not being afraid of missing out on any particular options because I was too busy trying to do it all. Like, do I want to do it all? Don't I want to do it all? What even is it all anymore? Like, this is just absolutely crumbling my pre-existing self-narrative. Like, I've just had this thing happen inside me, guys. And I love it. And I know, like, even if I didn't understand it, even if I wasn't able to articulate any of it, even if it was just this huge rush of goosebumps and energy and just, like, 
a, a feeling of knowing that I couldn't possibly begin to articulate because I hadn't practiced communication so diligently all these years, even if it was just the sensation, it's so powerful, like something has happened and it is the beginning of another little short story, I suppose, like that's what it's going to be. Uh, or maybe it feels like the beginning of consciously doing this instead of like just being a dabbler and trying to use all of these short stories to escape from myself and escape from making choices. Now I do it consciously and maybe even I can see myself now. This is getting deeper. Wow. So I can see myself with a main storyline and making a choice and creating a cohesive narrative for my life surrounded by these incredible short stories and experiences once in a lifetime opportunities that I am pursuing and seeking out and connecting with all these incredible people and incredible places and just like pushing everything to the absolute limits because that's my personality and that's not everybody's personality and I'm finally realizing that like that is my thing like my superpower is the ability to go 110% into anything and and it doesn't hurt me like there's there's no harm when I need to discipline myself to an extreme or I need to go through something really full on like I, I welcome it I welcome turning reality up to the max and the most incredible thing goosebumps again is that that was one of the first things that I changed through my HK healing like I can see it now I can see how it takes time for these shifts that we make in the invisible world to ripple through into the visible it takes time to to really embody the things that we're we're changing inside of ourselves it's so incredible I'm just having a moment and I don't think I can have this moment uh, on camera anymore I think the rest of this is going to be private but I hope that there was something cool here like it, it was as cool to witness as it was to experience directly for myself if you get anything out of these journals please pass them on to anybody else you know who may benefit or find any kind of value in them that's how this conscious content spreads subscribe if you haven't already that tells the algorithm that this was an interesting video and it will show it to more people leave your comments down below having an engaging discussion some of the videos on youtube get more views because of the engagement in the comment section than because of the content in the video itself like these engaging conversations are a part of the content you are a part of this youtube channel all of the people that are contributing like meaningful discussions thank you